I just saw one of the girls that works in the records department. Right? So I saw this girl, saw one of the girls, she was coming back from uh, lunch, I guess she was on the phone. When she got like a uh, hundred, hundred feet away, she got up the hill, I'm like, yeah, you know you're a slut. She dresses just like a go-go dancer, she don't even belong here. You can see that she's not that type of girl. That type of, you know, uh, and I get picked on for the way I dressed. She looks like she just walked off a goddamn pole. She looks like she just got off the pole. Got right off the dance floor. That's the way she dresses in this damn school. Oh, she don't act like she don't dress right. She don't this right. I'm sorry. Excuse me, can you all look at yourselves in the fucking mirror first? Because that girl that works in that office looks just like she just walked off the goddamn go-go pole. I'm like, yeah, sh let, even though they didn't hear me. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will say they heard me, but you know she didn't. Record everything, stupid. I don't like liars going into my records and messing with my records for their fucking own scumbag go-go dancers. Friggin' personal business. My business. My business. What happened here? Is everything alright? Mason's doing something there. Anyway. So who else is going to say? Are you keep taking those records, you slut bitch. Voice print that. Oh wait, I forgot I am. And I know you didn't hear me because you were all the way up at the top of the hill when I called you a slut. Because you were. You're all the way at the top of the hill gabbing away to some dumb bitch. So you sluts in that records department, you want to keep falsifying some more records and allowing the bitch, the old bitch, to steal more of my life. I'm glad, I'm glad that works for you slut to work coming off that goddamn pole. I didn't even dress like that when I was outside of work. Shit. I had my short skirts, but not like that. Praise God. Hope is in front of me and my children. business out there, you sluts. I freaking hate that. I gotta say something because it's really ignorant. Oh, I got some whipped cream out. Ha 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 ha. That's fucking funny. Oh, my boss kissed me. I couldn't help it. I was with one guy for like five years and he kissed me. Yeah, voice print that one. I haven't had sex with nobody for over two years. 
And I won't either. I want a God-loving person, not some dumb drunk who sits up till five in the fucking morning drinking all goddamn night and then wants to sleep all day. That's what he did to me. The bullshit that I had to deal with for so long and then all of a sudden I was an asshole and I wasn't a good mother and couldn't take care of my kids. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did somebody stay up till four in the morning drinking all fucking night long playing games? And they keep the wife up to do the same thing. I don't think so. No. Nope. Nope, nope. I will keep praising God. And I will have faith that something will be done for my kids' sake. I want him them around non-alcoholics, non-drinkers. I don't want them two feet near a fucking drinker, put it that way. I don't want them to know anything about that shit. I want them to know nothing but of God. The good shit that comes out of life, not the bad. But obviously, you just want to teach my son how to kill. Kill and dismember everybody. I'm glad that works for you mental fucking assholes. Remember to turn my put my signal on today. That's the only stop sign in my whole entire life that I I seem to not put my blinker on. In my whole entire life, I've always put blinkers on, no matter where it's where I went. For some reason, at this stop sign, I never did. If I catch myself not doing it. Actually stuck my blinker on. <laughs> 